you guys welcome back to as told by kita i'm kita welcome to my page if you're new welcome back if you're not um i'm a little irritated today so let's just speed past my normal introductions hey you guys like subscribe if you want to also follow me on all my social media as told by kita on everything snapchat instagram facebook follow me find me uh subscribe hit that bell button i got some giveaways coming up for some videos that i got it's a lot happening but um you might want to be subscribed. Hit that little bell notification so that you can know when things is going on. You don't want to miss out with I got planned. I got some good stuff planned. But for warning, today's video is going to be a little vulgar because I'm pissed off. So if you don't like bad words, um, if you're sensitive to the topic of marriage and cheating and side pe any of it, any of that, if you are sensitive to it, please click off of this video because i don't want to offend anybody if you're kids and you watch this video you shouldn't be watching this video click out leave now go don't get me in trouble with your parents so today i went to the gym and while in the gym i overheard a conversation and i swear today y'all i was not trying to be nosy i was just trying to walk on the treadmill i was trying to get my life get my peace my husband has broken my Bluetooth, so I do not have my headphones. So I didn't have a choice, okay, in this. Normally I do. I throw my headphones on and act like I'm not listening. But today, I, I didn't have my headphones, so I couldn't do that. So while I'm on my treadmill doing my thing, trying to get right for 2018, because I got a vow renewal to plan for. So I'm trying to get my peace of mind together. And while I'm doing that, these two women who are already in there having a conversation, they're talking and they for some reason seem like they've gotten louder because like when I first came in, I couldn't even hear them. And then like once I started working out, it's like they got louder maybe to kind of like, I don't know. I don't know why they felt like they needed to be louder than what they were before I came in, once I came in, but whatever. So they're basically talking about how they both date married men. Both of them. And I'm married, so... That is a touchy, 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 touchy subject for me any goddamn way. Now, disclaimer. I do not have a problem with women who are dating men that are married and you did not know. Shit happened. Men lie. Women lie for the men out there that's dating a married woman and didn't know. I do, however, have a problem when you think that you know what's going on in said person's relationship because of what said person has said to you. So, men, if you get a woman and she say, he doesn't make me happy. He doesn't put it down the way I need him to. He doesn't take care of the kids. He doesn't help. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. And then you go, baby, I'm here for you. And then you judge that man. If you ever meet that man, yeah, you was doing what you were supposed to do. Well, you don't know if he was or wasn't. You just know what she's told you. Now, bear in mind, she's already a liar. Okay? She... She's already shown that she has liar tendencies, all right? So she could be screwing you and going home and screwing her husband and telling you that she hasn't had sex with him in however long when that really ain't the truth. Women, I say the same. Do not tell a woman what she is and isn't doing because you don't know. You only know, you're only aware of what he's told you. Bear in mind, he's already a liar because he's lying to the person that he's married to. He's lying to his kids so he could come and be outside with you and possibly your kids. So bear in mind that this person is already a liar, okay? So when you decide that you're going to put yourself in a situation where the person is already married or the person already has another person, do not tell that woman or that man that they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Do not tell that woman or that man that he, they, if they were doing their job, then maybe, just maybe, the person wouldn't have stepped out because some people are just fucked up. Some people are just cheaters. Some people are just liars. It doesn't matter what the person, the person could be going home at home, fucking coming home with piles of gold and silver and platinum. And that person still wouldn't be happy. Some people just ain't happy. So stay in your goddamn lane before you tell somebody that they not doing what the fuck they supposed to be doing because you're getting your information from a fucking liar already. Okay. Okay. Now that we've said that, I also have an issue with the fact that the women out here who feel like they're a part of this shit called the 70% club. Now, the 70, for people who don't know, 
a while ago, there was an article that came out. And if I can come across the article again, I will definitely link it in the description. But it was a while ago. And it also it's also a movie out called The 70% Club that touches on the exact same article. So there is an article out saying that 70% of African-American women will end up by themselves. 40% of Hispanics and like 30% of Caucasian women. And it keeps going from there, right? So 70% of African-American women will be alone. And only, I think it was like 40% of African-American men want to get married or are married. And of those 40%, half is sleeping around with the 70%. That is the logic. That is what it says. That is even the movie went about it and said something similar to that. Okay, fine, fine. But if only 40% of the married men 40%, 40%, that leaves you with a big chunk of single ones, right? And that's taking out the gays or bisexuals, okay? Because they, they got their own shit going on. But that still leaves you with a pretty good percentage of single men who may just not want to get married. Or maybe hasn't found the person who he wants to marry. So it's no fucking excuse for sleeping around with a married man knowingly sleeping around with a married man and there's really no excuse for staying with said married man once you find out that he's a married man because here's the thing if that man was going to leave he would have left you don't change that shit you don't what you think oh he left her for me did he leave you like did he leave her for you i mean yeah he with you like yeah that's what's going on but like are you ready for that you understand what I'm saying? Like, are you ready for what the wife had to put up with? Because trust me, I promise you, once you guys get together, you're going to be having the same boogaloo blues, baby. You don't open the door no more. You don't, we don't go nowhere no more. You never home. You always working. How the fuck you think he met you? How you think she met you? Baby, we don't hang out no more. You not fun no more. You don't, you don't do this. You don't do that. Duh, 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 duh. You don't know what's going on inside of a person's house if you're not in that person's house. You only know what I am going to tell you. And I'm always going to tell you what's going to make me look in the best light. That's how the mind works. Okay? So I say that to say, listen, you don't want to look crazy at the end. If you manage to get that person to leave their husband or leave their wife to be with you, you're bringing on your own set of problems. That's... I ain't mad at that. Do your shit. Like, yo, do that. You're bringing on your own set of problems. Because that's going to be your own set of problems. You're bringing on your own insecurities. You're bringing on whatever. You're doing that. You're doing that. But don't judge the husband or the wife that has been left or decided to leave because they're not going to tolerate the cheating. Don't look at them and be like, well, you should have been doing your job. Because you don't know what the fuck that person doing. You just know what that lying ass scum bucket is telling you. And clearly they can't be trusted. Right? Like, that's obvious, right? That's like that's like being a person who decides to go have a baby with all already deadbeat. Like you know that child, you know that that woman's already a deadbeat mom. She never has a kid. She's always out partying, and then you go get her pregnant, and then you're mad that she's a deadbeat mom, or you have sex with a deadbeat dad. He already tries to avoid taking care of the thirteen kids that he has, and he doesn't pay child support, and he will purposely quit his job so child support can't take money out of his checks. And he will bum it until he feels like child support is not looking for him anymore. And then you lay down and you open your legs and you don't take the precautionaries that you need to take to have a baby. And then you get mad that he doesn't take care of your kid or he's denying your kid. And the next thing you know, we're on an episode of Maury. That's the same fucking thing. It's the same thing. If he or she is not taking care of home with, with the person that they're with because they're with you. What makes you think they're going to take care of home with you? And why do you have a right to be fucking upset? You got them that way. Remember that. Okay? Remember that. So don't judge before you know. So I needed to get that out of my way. Second of all, I need people to understand that cheating starts in the head. I'm pretty sure I said this somewhere, somewhere else. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did. But that's that's my life's motto at this point in life. Cheating starts in the head. The minute that you start entertaining some fuckery. Oh, can't you have friends? Let me add you on Facebook. It's just Facebook. Come on, let me get your Skype name. Come on, let me... How you doing, big head? What's up, best friend? All that fuckery, that shit. That's a setup. 
That's a trap. My husband, my husband can't have best friends. Not new ones. I know my husband's best friends. Those are his best friends. Some new bitch come in talking about, oh, I'm, I'm your husband's best friend. No, the fuck you're not. No, you're not. Mm-mm. He can't have best friends like you. Because I know best friends like you. You're definitely not the best friends that he has already. I don't know you. They don't know you. So you're, 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 I don't know what you are, but you're not his best friend. I suggest you um find another fucking word for that. We're not kids. This ain't elementary school. We not the fuck. Everybody ain't your play cousin. No, no, no. We don't do that. Because see, you're the opportunist waiting. You're waiting for him to come to you and tell you how hard life is and how right now we beefing and whatever. And you're saying all the words of encouragement and you're telling him, oh, it's going to all be okay. And da, 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 da. And now in his head, it's like, oh, she listens to me. Like, listen, that shit's starting to hit. It's starting to hit. And when you start entertaining motherfuckers, you got them thinking that, listen, all I got to do is be patient. And they are patient. They patient for whatever it is that they're trying to get from you. And you started that shit. You started that shit because you entertained it. People don't wake up and decide to just cheat. That shit starts in the head. Some people just unhappy, which still is in the head. It's all in the head. I'm just not happy with my life. I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with that. That's all in your head. That shit is all in your head. Things that you can change... But you choose not to change. You choose to complain about. And you telling another man, well, you know, I just want a bigger place. And this man giving you this dream and he's selling you this dream and he's telling you that it's going to all be okay. And then you leave or you cheat because you think that this grass is greener over here in this pasture, but it's not. It's all fucking fake grass. Then you get with the guy or you get with the girl. She's nothing that she was when you were dating her while she was still in another relationship or while he was still in another relationship. They're nothing like that. You get to see the real and you get to see the ugly because now this is a 24 hour thing. This isn't just, Oh baby, I see you on Saturday, right? Yeah. Cause he leaving town. Yeah. Cause he got to work. Yeah. Cause he not going to be here. Yeah. I see you or the girl. So you coming over, right? Yeah. I'm gonna come, you know, she working late. You come that fuck shit. You only get this. Of course they good to you. Of course, of course, they look like something that you want. The apple that was for you. Of course, but understand something. Something, a person that has already been given to someone else, like a gift for me. If God gives me a gift, if my mama give me a gift, that was my goddamn gift. Okay? That was my gift. Which meant that shit was for me. So if you come steal my gift, and it don't work right for you, and you can't handle it. Well, now you can have a goddamn gift. I don't want it. Don't send it back this way. Something that's for you will never belong to anybody else. Ever, 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 ever. Something that belongs to you will never belong to anybody else. That's why they're saying another man's trash. Meaning that you've already, you've already thrown it away. You threw away a good thing and somebody else found it. That meant once you threw it away, it no longer belonged to anybody. But if it's still in this, if it's still in my house and you walk your ass in and you take it or you try to. It wasn't for you because it was already in the house. You took it. You stole it. And yeah, people going to be like, yeah, but you know, these men. Yes, yes, yes. I blame them, too. I blame I blame the spouses. If I didn't say that already, I blame the spouses, too, because you you are allowing yourself to be taken you're allowing yourself to be stolen out the fucking house like a dog will bark you understand what i'm saying if a dog don't want it will bark it'll warn you hey 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 this ain't i ain't look i don't want to go with you i don't know you and that's that curving no nah, shorty we good no nah, we can't talk like that no nah, you know i don't think it's a good idea but do we be having private messages no nah, i ain't gonna that is that bark, that that bark that I'm talking about. Curving that shit. Making sure that that shit don't think that they got an opportunity to actually walk up out of here. But when you go quietly, then it's just as much as your fault as it is theirs. I mean, I blame both. I blame the ones that know that there's a relationship in place and you don't respect yourself or that relationship enough. And no, I don't think anybody owes the person anything because i hear that a lot i hear women say i don't owe that bitch nothing she ain't my friend you you owe 
her something as a woman, though. As a woman, you owe her something. As a man, you owe him something. Not because we friends. Not because I've ever done anything for you. Just off the strength that you're a fucking human and I'm a human. And you know what it feels like to be cheated on. You know what it feels like to have somebody come in and take something that does not belong to them. So you should have enough respect to say, you know what? I don't want to turn into the person who hurt me. Well, I don't want to be that man or that woman who came in and, and rocked my world. I don't want to do that. You don't owe me anything. You do whatever the hell you want, but there should be a level of respect. A level of respect. I would I could never bring myself knowingly that this person got something else going on and I go, I don't care. Why is that my problem? Why is that my issue? It's a lot going on, y'all. I'm sorry. So, I, I mean, whatever, right? People, The people in the world are going to do what they want. They're going to sleep with who they want. But just understand that karma is real. And if you don't believe in it, you should believe in it. That day you got into that car crash or that day that, you know, you actually fell in love with somebody and they decided to destroy you from the inside out. All that shit is karma. What we put out is what we get back, period. And if you're married and you're unhappy, just leave. Like, the hell? Like, ain't that why we got divorced? Like, if you genuinely don't want to work it out, like, if you have made up in your heart and in your mind and in your soul that this is something that you do not want, leave. Do us all a favor and just fucking go. Don't bring some bitch into my house, some dude into my house. Sleep with them. Don't make me believe this is a cousin from way back. Don't don't do all that extra shit. Don't be don't be extra. Just go ahead and go. What's stopping you? Because if the excuse of oh well I want to wait to the kid listen you listen. I would rather walk away from my kids, not walk away from my kids. I would rather walk away from a marriage where I have children and allow my children to be in a healthier environment in my space and in my husband's space than to stay. And be in an unhealthy environment because that will screw them up more than a divorce. Because we can explain a divorce. Mommy and daddy wasn't happy. Mommy and daddy was arguing. We didn't want you guys around that. So mommy and daddy decided that they were going to separate and live in separate houses. So, you know, we're not giving up on you. It's nothing that you guys did. It is totally different than staying and arguing and fighting and fussing and cheating and, and doing whatever. And then they exposed to that and then they... Why not like leave and don't? And then I've also heard people say stupid shit like, "Oh, I can't leave my wife because she's sick." I can't imagine leaving her while she's like that. But you're gonna cheat on her, or you're gonna cheat on him while he's down, kick him while they down. You're gonna make that worse. What it is is you want them to get better so that when you do decide, if you do decide to leave, and something happens to them, is that oh, it didn't happen because of me though. I ain't do it, you know, because, yeah. You just got that fear that if you walked away while this person was sick and then, God forbid, they died. It's like, she died because I left her. No, no, that's not what it is. But I know that you're going to think it, though, right? It's not because of you. It's because it was her time. And it's going to be her time if you stay. It's going to be her time. Like, you're trying to clear conscience. But if you're not happy, then you ain't happy. That just is what it is. If this person is not trying to make you happy or an attempt to making you happy if you have had conversations and you have had you know those deep moments where you're trying to get it clear of what it is that you need and what it is that you want and they're not hearing you and they're not trying to change then you go nobody can be mad at that married or otherwise then you go but the hell and for those people out there that accept that shit, why do you accept it? Why do you accept the excuses of why they cannot leave their spouses? Why you can't, why you won't leave him? Why you won't leave her? Why do you accept the excuses? Why not just have more respect for your fucking self and be like, yes, I love you, but I will not be second to anybody. So when you finally leave that person, then you come find me. And if I'm still single and you're officially single, then we can figure it out from there. What you think you gonna miss? If that shit is for you, when that person leaves, they'll be right back. If they're for you, 
But if they're not for you, then they're just not for you. They're not going to be for you even if they leave and they come straight to you. Or even if they stay. It ain't for you. Have some respect for your goddamn self. Have some respect for yourself. Fuck it. Whatever. Unless you're in one of those open marriage relationships. Then in that case, this has nothing to do with you. And bravo, because I couldn't do it. It's nothing to do for you. And for people who don't know what an open marriage is, an open marriage is when... um. It's just open. Everybody wants to be with everybody and still be with each other. And that's cool, too. That's cool. Do that shit. You know, like, do it. So what? Like, but don't accept something that you don't need to accept. Don't accept being second to somebody because they paying your bills. If they're going to do that shit for you while they with their wives, they're going to do that shit for you when they leave. Because that's what they want to do for you. That blackmail shit, I'll tell your wife if you don't pay this bill. That's just stupid. They're not even doing it for you no more. Now, now the reason that they with you and the reason that they dealing with you is because you got information on them and you threatening to tell. Like, grow up. Grow up. You knew what it was when you walked into the situation. Grow up. <laughs> grow up. That's all I'm going to say. That's all. That shit pissed me off. I don't know. It made me mad to even hear it. <laughs> and... The pride, the pride that was with it. It wasn't like, girl, he married and I just want him to leave his wife. It wasn't even like that. It was like, yes, he's married and he paid these bills and I've been doing it with him for like eight years and it was pride. I didn't understand it. It, it pissed me off. I had to come rant. I had to come talk to y'all. Please, 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 please. If you are, seriously, I'm not going to be offended. And all of this is my opinion, by the way. So don't go in my comments like, oh my God, you know, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I am married and I know that I would rather my husband leave. Okay. I would, I would rather deal with that heartbreak of him walking away from me and telling me that he's not happy and going to go find happiness somewhere else. I would rather him do that than to fucking cheat on me. Do not cheat on me. Do not put me through that. Do not make me feel like I wasn't good enough and that's why you had to go be with that other woman. Let me go. Go live your life and let me go live mine so I'm not walking around going, why did he cheat on me? Why was I not good enough for him to be faithful? Fuck that. Leave. Leave. So I don't want to hear, well, women ain't home taking care of it. I don't want to hear that shit. That's bullshit. You don't know that. You don't know that. So do not sound off in my comments with that fuckery. Oh, these women out here doing what these wives won't do. You don't know what that girl is at home doing. Some people just fucking unhappy. They just unhappy. Then it don't matter what that woman or that man doing. You still unhappy. Some people are just fucking miserable. And they don't know what else to do with themselves because they don't love them. So please, 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 for the sake of us going back and forth in the comments, if that is your opinion, keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to hear it. Because I think it's all bull. I think it's what you have to tell yourself to make you feel okay. I'm doing what the wife won't. Or I'm doing what the husband won't. So this is why it's like, no. That's what you got to tell yourself. Because understand, if they were that unhappy, they'd have already left and that would be yours. Yep. So, yep. That's my rant. I feel a little bit better. A little bit. Not a lot. Because now, when I see these faces, I'm going to know. She's been fucking with somebody's husband for the past eight years. <laughs>